This video presents a real-time, uncut, unedited, multi-camera filmed LASIK procedure using the Carl Zeiss Meditech laser refractive surgery platform, the Visumax femtosecond laser, and the Mel80 eczema laser. The patient is a 26-year-old male with low myopia of approximately minus 250. The surgeon instructs the patient to move millimeters in one or another direction to achieve perfect alignment of the patient on the bed. The ablation profile was planned offline on the CRS Master software and is loaded on the Mel80 via a USB stick. The patient details are then transferred automatically to the Visumax where the flap thickness, diameter, side cut and hinge settings are selected and double checked before starting the procedure. Anesthetic drops are instilled. One eye is then taped shut and the head is turned slightly to one side to ensure clearance of the nose from the femtosecond optics delivery cone. The curved contact glass is then connected to the suction port on the optics delivery cone aperture. Each contact glass is individually calibrated by a built-in confocal imaging system. The contact glass is similar to a gonioscopic lens in that it possesses a curved surface designed to couple with the cornea with only minimal application force, as opposed to a planar applination. Also, suction is applied directly to the cornea, not to the bulbar conjunctiva and sclera, as in classical suction systems. The combination of curved application and corneal suction means that the intraocular pressure rises no higher than 85 millimeters of mercury the lowest intraocular pressure increase of all current femtosecond laser systems, low enough that the patient is able to see the fixation target during the entire process. This minimal corneal distortion ensures accurate 3D spot placement within the corneal stroma. After inserting the speculum, the surgeon uses the joystick to raise the position of the bed to bring the patient gradually up to the contact glass. Suction is achieved within three to four seconds, and the femtosecond cutting is initiated by a surgeon-controlled foot pedal. Flap creation is done in a spiral pattern starting from the outside and working in, which allows the patient to focus on the green LED fixation light throughout. After creating the lamellar interface, the side cut is made and suction is automatically stopped to release the cornea. Total suction time for an average 9mm flap is approximately 25 seconds, during which the patient feels nothing, literally nothing. The 500 kHz repetition rate of the Visumax, together with the one-step coupling to the cornea, results in maximized efficiency for flap creation. In this case, Visumax flap creation from speculum in to speculum out has been performed in just one minute. The optical system delivering the femtosecond beam is designed with a very high numerical aperture, thus allowing for very tight concentration of femtosecond energy, very little collateral energy dissipation, and high femtosecond spot placement 3D accuracy. All this enables the Visumax to also perform small incision keyhole intrastromal keratomelusis, known as Relex Smile. Also, the total energy required is low, therefore minimizing side effects often associated with femtosecond laser flap creation, such as DLK, TLS, and Rainbow Syndrome. At the moment of contact between the cone and the cornea, a meniscus tear film appears, at which point the patient is able to see the fixation light very clearly because the vergence of the light is adjusted according to the patient's refraction. The combination of surgeon coaxial view and patient coaxial fixation results in flap or, or lenticule creation that is centered on the visual axis. Forward or backward movements of the patient's head during flap creation are compensated for instantaneously by a continuous force feedback servo control mechanism that adjusts the bed height to maintain a constant force of the contact glass onto the cornea. In total, Bilateral flap creation has been performed in just 2 minutes and 30 seconds. The surgeon then transfers to the MEL-80 to perform the calibration verification steps before the eczema laser portion of the procedure. 
Rather than using PMMA with a 4 to 1 accuracy ratio versus cornea, the Mel80 uses test phase cards with calibrated aluminum foil to test fluence, beam profile, and scanning mirror spot placement accuracy all at once. A display of the real-time energy variance demonstrates just how tightly fluence is controlled by the Mel80, and the user is able to change fluence delivered in 2% steps resulting in very high accuracy energy delivery. This quick but highly sensitive calibration process means that it is feasible to perform a calibration check for each and every patient immediately before the treatment, thus optimizing outcomes. This individual calibration, together with the efficient closed-loop energy regulation, results in an extremely consistent ablation rate which is one of the reasons why the outcomes for high myopic or high hyperopic corrections are so accurate. Corneal marks are placed for accurate flap repositioning later. As can be seen, by the time the patient reaches this stage, there is very little in the way of OBL, and therefore activation of the eye tracker is not delayed. The infrared tracker is switched on automatically and instantaneously identifies and locks on to the pupil border and limbus. My protocol is to center all ablations about the visual axis, and the Mel80 eye tracking system provides the option to do this within seconds by directly visualizing the position of the red Heaney aiming beam relative to the corneal reflex of the coaxially fixating eye. The flap interface is easily separated with very little interface separation resistance. The flap is lifted and laid onto a sterile wet pillow to maintain flap sterility by avoiding contact with the conjunctiva and to maintain epithelial moisture. The exposed stromal surface is wiped to homogenize hydration. The Mel80 is a flying spot laser operating at a repetition rate of 250 Hz with a 4 to 1 tracking frame to pulse ratio and a total tracking delay of approximately 2 to 4 milliseconds. The patented CCA, or Cone for Controlled Atmosphere, ensures that the beam path in air is maintained as a consistent environment by plume homogenization as opposed to straightforward plume extraction. The laser beam path efficiency is optimized by there being only five mirrors and the fact that 90% of the beam path is through a vacuum tube. The flap is replaced and irrigation is performed using a 27 gauge anterior chamber cannula specifically to keep the flap irrigation to a minimum. One centiliter of fluid is expelled in one second so that there's a very high fluid pressure stream which avoids hydrating the flap or bed while effectively blowing particles from the interface. Prophylactic antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drops are instilled and preparations are made to treat the second eye. I use a solid bladed speculum rather than a wire speculum that also requires taping of the lid margins and lashes. The blade also keeps meibomium oil from entering the field. After marking, I apply BSS to create an optical surface for identifying the corneal reflex for tracker position locking. Here the flap can also be seen to be perfectly centered on the corneal reflex. Centration on the visual axis is a controversial subject, but more and more surgeons are coming round to the understanding that refraction is related to the visual axis, not the entrance pupil center. The Mel80 and Sirius Master also have a sophisticated cyclotorsion registration system that identifies pupil, iris, limbus, and conjunctival vessels. The flap is lifted. Again, the flap separation is easy with very little resistance within the interface. The time between flap lift and the start of the ablation is kept as consistent as possible to minimize any influence of stromal hydration changes on the ablation rate. Another unique feature of the Mel80 is the patented beam shaper that guarantees Gaussian shape of the beam and does not require constant maintenance and refocusing. This is achieved using a lenslet array, much like those used in Hartmann Schack wavefront sensors to fix and guarantee a Gaussian shape. When replacing the flap, 
My goal at the end of the procedure is to see a zero gutter appearance, literally no space between the flap and the bed. This is only possible if minimal irrigation is used as flap swelling causes flap diameter retraction. Here the ink marks can be seen to be perfectly aligned. In addition, this relatively dry irrigation technique means that flap adherence occurs with no waiting time. The overall design of the Carl Zeiss platform enables us to schedule patients very efficiently on a surgical day, allowing high throughput without feeling at all rushed. And especially the Visumax coupling method provides the patient with the I felt nothing experience and a very short time under the stress of having eye surgery. In total, this bilateral LASIK procedure with the Visumax and the Melady has taken only about eight and a half minutes.